It was a relegation battle in Lanarkshire. Two shite teams met. Mullerwell and St Johnston. One of these are going down at the end of the season, in my opinion. Who's it going to be? Well, we didn't really find that answer out today. But St Johnston, with a 94th minute winner, have given themselves a chance and have moved off the bottom of the table. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Vipa. We're here for a review of Mullowell versus St. Johnston. Like I said, in Lanarkshire at Far Park. Big, big game here. This was a relegation scrap. This was a relegation six-pointer, man, you know. Both teams, I, I felt this was massive. If Mullerwell won it, I felt like they were, not that they were safe, but they, uh, to put six points between themselves and the likes of St Mirren and St Johnston after only two games would have been insane. But St Johnston at the same time, I felt like their form over the past 12 months has been shit. They couldn't afford to start the season and go multiple games without a win. I felt like it was crucial that St. Johnson got at least a point today, but they done better than that. They got all three points, and they were leading at half-time, and they deserved to be leading. Uh, Baird was, had the first chance for St. Johnston, hit it straight at Liam Kelly, though, unfortunately for him. Should have done a lot better, should have tested the goalkeeper more here. But don't worry, because Jamie Murphy got the next opportunity, and he did test Liam Kelly. He tested him so much that Liam Kelly failed the test, he couldn't make the save. And Jamie Murphy, the former Mullerwell man, gave St. Johnston the lead. Mullerwell tried to get back into the game just before half time it wasn't to be though Connor Shields hit the post we then get into the second half and it was all Mullerwell I don't know what happened to St Johnston's good start but it was gone by the time we got into the second half Constantine blocked a shot in the six yard box for Shields it was poor defending from Miller Mullerwell players and the goalkeeper kind of just left it and then it was the old guard Constantine that had to jump in and save the day Tierney threw himself to the ground, did get a penalty. I only seen two angles of this and none of them were that great, but from what I seen, it didn't look like a penalty. Maybe somebody can let me know. Was it a penalty? Was it not? The ref didn't give it. I personally didn't think it was, but Tierney was adamant that he should have got it. He didn't get it though. Sean Goss had multiple attempts. Some of his shots were blocked. Another one he, he had, he just kicked the ball into the ground really, it bounced up and almost found its way into the corner of the net but again, the St Johnston goalkeeper, who is it, Sinclair, Parrish? I'm not too sure but anyway, the keeper uh, done it good enough to make a save and then we get into the 91st minute and St Johnston must have been getting nightmares, corner comes in and it's Carey, I think the ball takes a shot or it hits off Carey, the Mullerwell player, I mean they were trying to give the goal, I mean the St Johnson player, they were trying to give the goal to the Mullerwell player but honestly he knew nothing about it so uh, yeah now nah, this was an own goal I'm pretty sure and uh, just yeah flashback of last week you know conceding a penalty in the dying moments like they did against Hibs and it looked like St Johnson's three points had evaporated but then they go up 94th minute and they get a corner of their own it's whipped in it's not a great delivery it's headed away then it is McPherson who whips it back into the box Carry with a cushion header into the path of Stevie May. Stevie May and Liam Kelly both rush into the ball, but Stevie May slides in, stretches in, manages to get to it before Liam Kelly does, and he pokes it past Liam Kelly to give St Johnston a 2-1 lead in the last seconds of the game. St Johnston fans were going absolutely mental behind the Mullerwell goal, celebrating some wee fucking Ned, some wee Bam was, you know, trying to edge over to the Mullerwell section. He had a long way to go, though, due to the, the million of empty seats but he was trying to edge over and act hard and I mean come on mate it's, it's, a, it's a win in the second game of the season and this guy's wanting to fight to the fight to the death over it I mean a bit pathetic son sit down but anyway St Johnston big win they needed it they got it they got three points in the relegation scrap the six point battle for last place and a fatal win for St Johnston and you know what I'm kind of glad to see Callum Davidson get a win here I mean we all spoke about his heroics the Scottish Cup and League Cup double that was tremendous that'll never be done again and I'd like to see him get another chance you know last season was horrendous uh, but like I said over the past like three windows he's just continued lost his best players then it, it, at the moment he's kind of hit rock bottom that his best players from the cup double he, he doesn't have them anymore 
So it can kind of, this season I think is a season that Callum Davidson will either sink or swim. Either he's built a good enough team to try and rise again, or he's at rock bottom. And it, we'll, we'll find out. Personally, I think he's at rock bottom. Personally, I think St. Johnson will go down this season. But I'd like to see him get a chance. And you know what? Like I said, if he stays up, great. Because, I mean, he done that cup double and that was tremendous. And it would be a shame to see him lose his job. But he, he can't just keep a guy in a job because of, you know, it's a results-driven business. And as good as that was, that doesn't buy you forever. You know, maybe at bottom last season, perhaps. But if he, if he has another season like last season, I don't think Callum Davidson will be in a job any longer. But yeah, massive win for St. Johnston today. Massive six points. Takes them away from the bottom of the table. And uh, Mullerwell, yeah, Mullerwell must have thought, wow, four points after two games. We're dog shite. That's a great uh, outcome for us. But nah, it wasn't to be. They lost in the 94th minute winner. So uh, yeah, Mullerwell, St. Johnson. I think both of these teams will finish in the bottom two places. But we'll wait and see. Today... Wasn't a great game, like I said, St. Johnson edged the first half, Mullerwell were a lot better in the second, in the end St. Johnson got the win, it is what it is, the three points go to the Saints, guys, I will catch you in the next one, but until then, this has been Fog but see you later, peace.